Now, uh, when the, the people did have, a, they were very, very religious, and even before they built churches, they would clear a place in the woods and, and cut off the uh, trees and leave the stumps to sit on and have a meeting, have a religious service in the woods. How did they sing? What did they sing? Because singing is a very important part of any uh, uh, religious uh, service, no matter what the religion. Well, <clears throat> before they had books, they didn't have books, and many of them couldn't have read the, the books anyway. They had um, uh, the minister, or sometimes somebody in the community, would have a little book like, like this little book I'm holding here. I don't know the, the title of this because the, back, the, the cover is off, but it's, it's a little book that contains hundreds of hymns, the words only. And the, the hymn tune is here. For example, Old Hundred. Old Hundred is the name of a hymn tune. And then it'll have LM, meaning long meter. And, and it indicates the metrical pattern of the line, you see. And, and they could take any long meter tune and sing to long meter verse. Or CM means common meter, and, and SM means short meter. And sometimes, now you look in your hymn books, and you'll see these, they keep these uh, in, uh, facing toward the back of your hymnal. And then the hymn tune uh, may be the name of a place. Uh, here's Rochester, common meter. Some of these... Um, uh, itinerant music uh, singers, masters, uh, would compose and they would name the tune after the town in which they composed it. Uh, so uh, they would line out. The, the minister, or he'd get somebody, would sing a line of the song. Now they sang in unison. There was no uh, harmony yet. They sang in unison. And, and here is um, uh, an example of the kind of song, the Pilgrim of Sorrow. <clears throat> 